This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. So now let us see heat transfer by conduction. See if you heat one end of a metal spoon, you just consider this. You take a metal spoon and you just heat one end of this by keeping it over a gas burner. This is the gas burner. Eventually, we find that its other end becomes hotter, isn't it, after a while. So, in this case, heat is transferred from hot end of the metal to its cold end. So, when heat is transferred from the hotter end of spoon to its colder end, then there is no movement of the material of the spoon. From one end to another, isn't it? Here only heat is getting transferred from hot end to the cold end, but there is no movement of the material. So such a transfer of heat uh, from this hot part of the material to its uh, cold part without the actual movement of the material, we call it as conduction. Okay, so there is no movement. That spoon hot end is not moving here. It's just the heat that is getting transferred from one end to the other. So this type of transfer, we call it as heat transfer by conduction. And in this case, the transfer of heat, it takes place within the same object, isn't it? So here we are considering only the spoon. So the heat is getting transferred in this spoon only. So in the same object. If you now bring the hot end of the spoon in contact with the cold end of another spoon. You just take this hot end of the spoon and you make contact with another spoon with its cold end. Okay. In that case, what happens? We find that some of the heat of the hot spoon is transferred to the cold end due to which the cold spoon will also become somewhat hard. Somewhat hot, isn't it? So this type of uh, transfer of heat from hot spoon to a cold spoon, which are in contact with each other, is also called as conduction. Here the objects are different. It is not taking place in the same object. So we can say conduction is the transfer of heat from the hotter part of a material to its colder part or from a hot material to a cold material in contact with it, isn't it? Without the movement of material as a whole. So this is the definition of conduction. So in all the solids, if you take as an example, heat is transferred by this process of conduction. If I want to give some example, you can take the examples of our everyday life. Uh, a cold metal spoon dipped in a hot cup of tea, isn't it? It gets heated by the conduction. A frying pan kept on a gas stove transfers the heat of gas burner through its metal bottom by the process of conduction, isn't it? So these are all the some of the examples of conductions which uh, takes place in our day-to-day -day life. Now let us... Uh, perform a small activity to show this uh, conduction of heat, okay? So first we take a flat aluminium rod and we'll fix some small iron nails on it. So this is the flat aluminium rod and uh, these are all the iron nails which are uh, fixed to this rod, okay, with the help of wax. This rod along with these uh, nails is clamped to a stand. As you can see, this is the stand. So it is clamped to this stand. And uh, now we should heat the free end of this aluminium rod with a burner. By keeping a burner below this aluminium rod. And eventually we will see that the iron nails attached to aluminium rod with wax start falling one by one. So when we heat this end, these iron nails, they start falling one by one after some time. 
the nail attached nearest to the heated end of rod falls down first first this one falls down second and then third this one and then the next ones fall by the nail attached to the clamped end of the rod drops last of all so after performing this activity what is the observation or what is the conclusion that we can make we can say that the burner which is placed below the left end of the aluminium rod so the left end of the aluminium rod gets heated first isn't it since the burner is placed in the left end and the left end of aluminium rod is hot but the right end of rod is cold so when we start heating this end this end becomes hotter and other end will be cold so now heat is transport from the hotter left end of aluminium to the colder right end so as heat travels from left side to the right side along with the aluminium rod it melts the wax which holds these nails and due to this the nails falls down one by one so from this activity we can conclude that heat is transport from hot end of aluminium rod to its colder end by the process of conduction